Hi everyone, my name is Dee and I will be your bartender for this evening. Please be 21 and please drink responsibly and in moderation. Tonight, it's all about wine. Reds, whites, rosés. I wanna know what your favorite kind is, so post it in the comments below. Let me know what, you, what kind of wine you go to. I wanna know what kind of wine you drink with your dinner, with your dessert, when you're binge watching Netflix. I wanna hear about it. Plus, it will help me because I am still in the process of learning about wine. I have just recently dived into this world and I am learning about the flavors and the pairings and what goes with what and what should be on a menu and what are the necessities to have. So I would appreciate your comments because they will help me learn. I do have a wine guy. And by that I mean I have a guy that I can call who knows everything about wine. And whatever my question is, he always has the answer. And so I just want to give a shout out and let him know I appreciate that. So thank you so much. Um, love you, bro. Yeah, I see his family. Uh, so with that being said, I want to talk a little bit about sangrias because those are delicious. However you drink your wine, whether it's straight or in the sangria mixture, it's all good. And that's what we're going to talk about. I want to show you what I'm working on. Chug this little thing along here. Oh, I know, right? Woo! It's infusing as we speak. Okay, let me tell you what I got going on here. My suggestion for wine in sangrias is simply the reds, the heavier reds for winter and fall. The lighter rosés, uh, whites would be more for a spring or summertime mixture. And that is just my preference. Everyone has their own preference. Whatever you got at the house, let's mix it up. It's, it's gonna be fine. So I started in here. Oh, but Dee, I don't have a cool picture like that with the press. It's okay. Grab a mixing bowl that you make cookies in or something. It doesn't matter. We'll just mix it all together. This is a learning experience. We're gonna mix some white wine, okay? And again, it's your preference. I found these cute little tiny bottles, like in four packs, and they seem to be the best as far as measuring. So one of those would work. Or if you're a heavy, you know, heavy hitter, throw it in there. Whatever works for you. So I added that in, and then I added a cup or two of a flavored vodka. Me, I used a raspberry flavor. But there's also dragonberry, there's strawberry, blackberry, blueberry. There is every single flavor of vodka and rum out there. Whatever you have, throw it in there. If it's berry-based, it's better. Uh, but if it's just plain old vodka or plain old rum, that'll work too because it's gonna be infused. So you'll, you'll get the flavor of the fruit. So those go in there, the wine and the booze. And next what I did was I had those frozen packs of berries. So in that packet, in the freezer, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries. Mm, I think that's it. But anyway, so I dumped it into this pitcher. I dumped all the alcohol into the pitcher and now I'm going to let it infuse overnight. And then tomorrow when I break this out, I'm going to add ginger ale, a little bit of lemonade juice, could add some pineapple juice. It's just going to be a really fresh, delicious, fruity, awesome, amazing drink. And that is my recipe. If you're like, I can't wait till tomorrow, I want to make this now. Then go ahead and add the ingredients. I just like to infuse it overnight because the flavors really come through. Uh, some people, they'll infuse it for days or a week. Uh, again, that's up to you and how long you can wait. But if you need to have it now, just keep doing this. Or if you have the mixing bowl, just keep stirring, crunching them up a little bit, and it will just infuse into everything that you add. And yeah, I think that's one of my favorite sangria recipes. Uh, again, I stole from my friends. I, I added a couple of things to it. Uh, but yeah, those are my great suggestions. And I wanna hear yours. What kind of sangria are you into? And let me know uh, what you're drinking and what you're doing and how you're surviving all of this. And I can't wait to see you all again. 
until we meet again, until next time, my little winos, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay in good spirits.